Hello everyone, this is Ken with Power Source Electric and thanks for taking a look at our video on GFCI outlets. Uh, GFCI, uh, ground fault circuit interrupter, you're going to find them located um, in your kitchen, in your bathroom, outside, um, you know, in your garage, any place that water uh, has the possibility or the potential of coming in contact with electricity, um, you're going to see a GFCI outlet. So let's take a look at one right here. There's our standard GFCI outlet and you're going to notice there's two buttons on them. We'll get a little bit closer look. Um, one button is going to say test and one button is going to say reset. Uh, if you happen to have one of these GFCI outlets and the button trips on it, um, that's what it's supposed to do. It's doing its job. It's uh, protecting you from a hazard. Uh, it could be a piece of equipment that uh, maybe you have a leaf blower and uh, you plug in the leaf blower and all of a sudden the GFCI outlet trips um, you're wondering, oh, I have a bad outlet, but that's not the case. It's protecting, uh, protecting you from a potential hazard. Um, the problem could be uh, with your leaf blower. It could be with the extension cord you plugged into it. Um, so that's what this outlet is, is here to do, is to protect you. So let's take a look at the back of it. In the back, if you pull it out of the box, you're going to notice one side has tape on it. Um, all of them come standard that way. Um, there's a line side and a load side to a GFCI outlet. Um, when you pull it out of the box, the load side will have the tape around the back of it uh, because it's not necessary to use that side at all times. If you're using this GFCI outlet to only uh, protect this particular outlet, you connect your wires to the line side. Um, if you were to use this outlet to protect several other outlets, um, the other outlets would be connected to the load side. So the light side is uh, power coming in, load side is power going out. Uh, so the circuit flows through the GFCI outlet. Just like a standard outlet, the GFCI outlet is connected in the same manner. You're going to notice on the back, you're going to have your screws where the wires are connected to it. And you're going to notice that you have a silver screw, also a gold screw. And then right here on the top, you're going to have your ground screw. Ground screw is green, your neutral is silver, and your hot wire or your colored wire is going to be um, gold. Uh, when I say colored wire, that's any color except for green uh, or white. White is always your neutral, green is always your ground, but the um, ground can also be a bare wire inside your home. So the GFCI outlet is here for our protection. Um, you plug into it just like you would plug in um, any other standard uh, extension cord, you're going to have a ground, um, ground prong, you're going to have your longer prong for your neutral, your shorter prong for your hot, and uh, this is basically what a GFCI outlet looks like. If you have any questions on GFCI outlets, please hit contact us. I'd be happy to um, tell you more about them, um, but they're going to install um, pretty much the same as a standard outlet. So if you haven't seen our video on outlets, please take a look at that. You'll see how we connect the wires to a, to a standard outlet. Uh, the same with a GFCI outlet. Um, important note to remember is um, if you're powering only this outlet, you're going to connect to the line side, which is power coming in. If you're going to um, feed this outlet to other outlets to protect them, that's going to go to your load side. Uh, one other note to, to make sure of is the neutral does count. Um, just because you have a hot wire coming in, the hot and the neutral coming from your power supply need to be connected to the line side. Uh, the load side, the uh, power going out, and the neutral going out need to be connected to the load side. If you have any other questions, please hit contact us. Thanks for coming to our site, powersourcetutorials.com.